Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on Venn diagrams. It says that Vijay and Dashmi are two friends. They were preparing for CAT rigorously. And on each day of September, which has 30 days, uh, obviously you should know that September has 30 days. They took sectional test of at least one of the three sections, VARC, DILR and QA. Some facts are given to us about that. Okay. So, uh, the first thing is given that they took at least one of the three tests, okay, and every day they took test of at least one of the three sections. So, we will have a Venn diagram like this. Let us say this is for Vijaya and this is for Dashmi. So, they took at least one test that means all values have to be filled inside these that should add up to 30 and no value should be present outside that's a clear cut indication now let us just mark that this is VARC this is DILR this is QA same goes for this person as well the number of days on which they took only VRC tests is equal so let us say these numbers are A and A the same is true for the number of days on which they took only DILR tests. So let us say these numbers are B and B. Both of them took a VRC test every alternate day. Alternate day means once in two days. Right? Once in two days, that means on 15 days, they will take VRC test. Now, both of them will take VRC test on 15 days. So this means this complete circle. And this complete circle in this case should add up to 15. Okay, so uh, that we need to keep in mind. The number of days on which Vijaya took DILR and QA tests. DILR and QA tests. DILR, QA. So combination of DILR and QA. This is equal to the number of days on which Dashmi took DILR and QA tests, but not VRC tests. Now, pay attention here this part does not mention not vrc it says but not vrc so that means this the second part denotes this region so these two regions the values in these two regions are equal so here as well as here okay so we'll fill it later let us not put uh, unnecessary variables as of now the number of days on which they took all three tests is two and five in any order so it can be two or five it can be like any order. The number of days on which Dashmi took DILR and VRC test but not QA test is more than the respective number for Vijaya. So DILR and VRC but not QA. This number is greater than this number. Okay. Let us look for something which, which we can fill substantially. The number of days on which Vijaya took QA test is equal to the number of days on which Dashmi took DILR test. Again, this requires uh, a lot of combination of values. So let us skip this part. The number of days on which Vijaya took the combination of exactly two tests were three distinct odd prime numbers. So these, these and these two, two combination of exactly two tests. So these are three prime numbers which are odd. Okay. The number of days on which Dashmi took the combination of exactly two tests were three distinct perfect squares. So this is a square number, this is a square number, this is a square number, right? So that is the information which is available with us. Now, uh, this is something, uh, let us try to figure out from where we can start solving this, okay? Because only concrete info, we are not given any number, we just have this number in hand. Now, we know these are prime numbers and these are square numbers, right? They are handful of them. So we can use the combinations to figure out what these numbers could be. Suppose we have 5 here and 2 here, right? So we are given that this is 5 or 2 in any order. So 5 plus some prime number should give us a square number. So 5, uh, like if we talk about the square numbers, it should be greater than 5. So if we take 9, then P comes out as 4, which is not possible. If we take 16, then P comes out as 11. So if we take 11 here, we will get 16 here. Okay. But before considering that this as something final, let us see that this VA 
part is 15 this complete circle is 15 and this is 16 this makes the number exceed 30 there are 30 days right so if this is 15 this complete circle is 15 and this portion is 16 it will exceed 30 so hence this is not possible now we cannot keep on increasing this number because that is not a possible case now what we will do is we will we know that this is not 5 this has to be 2 and this is 5 now we will repeat the activity we will think of a prime number uh, greater than uh, like this square number such that this prime number is uh, the 2 plus p is this square number okay so if we take think of square numbers beyond 2 so 1 is 4 so this gives the value of p as so we are talking about the square number and p so p comes out as 2 but here we are given odd prime numbers right so again a very important piece of information odd prime numbers so that is not possible right if we take square as 9 if we take this value as 9 then this becomes 7 so which fits now if we take further number that is 16 right this will again become 14 which is not possible isn't it that will become an even number and then we cannot go beyond that because already this number is it this will exceed 30 so we have only one case that this is 9 and this is 7 so this value will come as 9 this value will come as 7 right now uh, what we know is these are two square numbers okay now this is 9 this is 5 already 14 already 14 if we take 16 let us say if we take 16 a larger square number if we happen to take 16 that will become 30 and these are also some numbers these are also some numbers that have to be inserted so this value none of these values can be 16 because if we take 16 this number will exceed 30 right agar kahin pe bhi 16 le lenge this also has to be a square number so this will exceed 30 so that means we cannot take any of the square numbers as 16 so we will take we have to take three different perfect squares so we can only take 1 4 and 9 now these two numbers will be 1 or 4 in any order so 1 plus 4 is 5 any order if you take this will be 5 5 plus 5 10 this will be 5 so a is equal to 5 okay a is equal to 5 so this will also be 5 now if this is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 so p plus p these two numbers should add up to 8 so think of two prime numbers adding to 8 you will say that 3 plus 5 so these numbers are 3 and 5 3 and 5 that add to 15 this also adds to 15 okay so now next uh, we will use some statements to figure out that which are these numbers now there is some portion which said that uh, one value is un, uh, more than another value right so number of days in on which Dashmi took DILR and VRC test but not QA test. DILR and VRC test but not QA is more than the respective number for Vijaya. So this number is greater than this number. Now this is possible as 1 and 4. This is possible as 3 and 5. So this means this number has to be 4 and this number has to be 3. And as a result this number will be 5 and this number will be 1. So done. So we have filled all this piece of information. Okay. Now we have, uh, now we already have filled these values. This is also taken care of. Only this statement remains that should finalize the values. The number of days on which Vijaya took QA test is equal to the number of days on which Dashmi took DILR test. Okay. Uh, Vijaya took QA test. This value. should be equal to this value so that is what is given to us that this complete circle is equal to this complete circle now if we add these this adds to b plus 18 
these values add to b plus 18 these value add to 14 okay so this value should be b plus 4 now it is b plus 18 in both the cases now we know that total there are 30 days so just add this this is 15 15 plus 7 22 26 plus 2b so that comes as b is equal to 2 so just put 2 so will be 2 so will be 6 okay so now if we see 11 18 20 and this is 15 uh, sorry this is 2 so uh, 7 11 20 that adds to this so only one value remains subtract from 30 15 15 plus 11 26 and 4 30 so this is how we will solve this venn diagram right with just two numbers mentioned 2 and 5 and these hints we were able to figure out all these values okay now let us answer the questions on how many days did dashmi take dilr and qa tests but not vrc tests so dilr and qa dilr and qa but not vrc that is nine how many days did vijaya take dilr test so this circle we need to add five and uh, 5 plus 9, 14. On how many days did Dashmi take only QA test? So only QA test is taken on 4 days. And on, on how many days did Vijaya take only? This should be take only one test. Okay, so only one test is 5 plus 2 plus 6. That is 13. So this number is 13. Right, so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope uh, you loved this beautifully designed set and uh, do let me know in the comments how much time you took to solve this set and uh, thanks for watching this set. Don't forget to like this video.